Many a protest takes place around Parliament every day, but few involve simulating set acts. And today, it seems there was no shortage of snappers willing to cover the event. Perhaps even one photographer for every protester, and there were around 70 of those. Let's break the law. Rawr. This is face sitting. It's one of the acts now banned from being depicted in British pornography films. Obviously, here they're performing it fully clothed. The law now says any porn bought online should be subject to the same guidelines as DVDs you can buy in sex shops. What do we want? Face sitting! When do we want yet? Now! Which means face sitting female ejaculation and any physical abuse, even if consensual, is banned. Although I don't do video on demand myself, I have a lot of friends who do video on demand, which is going to really affect their business. And I'm also very concerned that this is a gateway for bringing in other laws which may restrict what I can do for my, my living. Campaigners say the law is sexist in banning activities associated with female pleasure. It really is uh, a, you know, a feminist issue and that um, it is part of the wider ongoing oppression of women. Well, some feminists would argue that it's right we have some restrictions on what we can do in pornography so that it's not injuring women in particular. If you focus on pornography, that would be the case. But our entire point is that the issue is not pornography. As I said, we're not interested in pornography. The issue is, why is it that certain female sexual acts have been effectively outlawed in certain streams of media. The British Board of Film Censors is responsible for placing restrictions on sexual behaviour in pornography. They'll censor anything that encourages an interest in sexually abusive activity. But they can only regulate British-produced films. And even the Department for Culture, Media and Sport says small businesses may be hard hit. Simon Hill seems to be an unlikely protester. He's a Christian blogger. For him, this protest is about upholding Christian values. I have big problems with the massive corporate pornography industry. Most of the activities criminalised by these regulations will be sort of homemade pornography, small business pornography, that's actually less likely to be exploitative. One might almost think that this was drafted by middle-aged white men completely out of touch with the sexual behaviours of the populace at large. Are you saying there should be no restrictions in what pornography involves? For instance, what about simulating rape packs? Simulation is the key word in that sentence. If it's consensual adult role play, I have no problem with it whatsoever. Protesters say this kind of censorship sets a dangerous precedent on civil liberties. And let Parliament hear our voices. You can try and ban our liberties, but you can never take our sexual freedom. Today marks the beginning of their campaign and they're determined not to take this sitting down.